Welcome back. Today we are going to discuss the following problem. We have a patient who needs to be on vancomycin therapy. We have the information here. 70-year-old, uh, 5 5 male, weighs 150 L base and serum creatinine level at 1.5 mg per deciliter. Okay, so we have to design the loading dose and we have to design the maintenance dose. And the first thing that we are going to ask for vancomycin therapy is we have to select the appropriate weight and uh, the appropriate weight in this case is the ideal body weight we calculated and uh, if you don't know how to calculate the ideal body weight go to my blog and uh, my blog is lunkelectures.blogspot.com and look at the video Cockcroft and Gault equation weight consideration so for this 150 LB patient the ideal body weight is approximately 61.5 kilograms so with that we calculated the first step is a creatine clearance and again if you don't know how to calculate the creatine clearance take a look at the video which I posted on Cockcroft and Gault equation in my blog so the creatine clearance is 40 ml per minute and the conversion into liters gives 2.4 liter per hour okay the first step if you want to calculate the loading dose is we need here is a formula we need volume of distribution so let's do that now so volume of distribution based on the Matsky's equation okay we are following Matsky's equation today so and since the patient is suffering with a moderate ascites so we're going for the higher end of the volume of distribution it is 0.9 percent times the absolute uh, body weight or the total body weight of the patient Usually, uh, it is between the range of uh, 0.44 to 1.0 liter per kilogram, according to the Matsky volume distribution range. Since our patient is suffering with moderate ascites, we are using a 0.9 times the actual body weight. So VD is equal to 0.9 times the actual body weight, which is the 68 kilograms. So if you calculate this, and uh, 61.2. And again it is in liters 61.2 liters okay so because this is 0 0.9 liters per kilogram and this is kilogram kilogram and kilogram will get cancelled we'll have a 61.2 liters now that we have the one more distribution information now the next thing is what concentration at time zero so that is the peak concentration target peak concentration we need is 30 mg per liter so 30 mg per liter times the volume of distribution which is 61.2 liters right so liters liters get cancelled so 30 mg times 61.2 you'll get the loading dose value of 1832 grams I believe approximately so but the dose so the drug may be available in 500 to 50 milligrams a thousand milligrams so usually we will round it up to the nearest uh, number so it's 1837 milligrams um, not 1832 so now that we have the loading dose the next step is to find out the uh, maintenance dose if you want to find out the maintenance dose here's a formula guys for the maintenance dose okay we have to rewrite the CSS max equation to write the dose equation and if you take a look at this equation we need a volume of distribution we already have and we need elimination rate constant and uh, we need the infusion time we already have we mentioned two hours and the dosing interval is t 24 hours so the first thing is we need to find out the k so you already know the equation for the uh, k the k is what uh, clearance is equal to k times one more distribution right so clearance of anco divided by one more distribution we already have volume of distribution information but we don't know clearance of vancomycin so we are going to find out that let's calculate how so here is the equation for uh, clearance of vancomycin it is 70 percent to 90 percent of creatine clearance that is the reason we calculate creatine clearance here so let's calculate that so clearance of vancomycin again this is only for vancomycin is equal to 
70 to 90 percent 70 percentage to 90 percent so average of that is 80 percent so we are going to use this equation okay so 80 percent times creatine clearance is 2. liters so 2.4 liters per hour right so if we multiply that we will get a value of approximately 1.91 i believe 1.91 liter per hour that is the clearance so now that we have the clearance information and volume of distribution information we can calculate the elimination rate constant so k is clearance of vancomycin that is 1.9 liters per hour divided by volume of distribution that is 61.2 liters okay so this is equal to approximately 0 0.031 hour inverse by the way so let us let us get now that we have the required information that is the elimination rate constant one more distribution which is 61.2 liters and the next thing is what maintenance dose with a semen of 15 mg per liter right okay so if you want to go with the semen information then we have to go in a reverse way for example this is the equation for css min is equal to css max times e to the power of minus k times t prime minus uh, tau so the first thing is we need to find out the css max then use that information and plug it in this equation here uh, to find out the dose so let's do that uh, one step at a time css max is equal to css min that is 15 mg per liter right 15 mg per liter divided by e to the power of minus k that is 0 0.031 times t prime that is 24 hours that is the dosing interval minus the tau that is 2 hours okay so if you solve for this equation you'll get a css max of 30 mg per liter approximately now the next step is the dose information now we have the css max then we have to calculate the maintenance dose by the way so here's the equation for css max okay so we have css max we have volume distribution we have k we know t prime and uh, tau and we have t prime now we have to calculate the dose i'm going to rewrite this equation in this format okay so the maintenance dose is CSS max. We have 30 mg per liter times volume of distribution, which is 61.2 liters. Okay. Times K, that is 0 0.031 hour inverse. Okay. Times 1 minus e to the power of minus K, that is 0 0.031 times T, that is 24 hours times the t prime that is uh, two two hours infusion time divided by one minus e to the power of minus k that is 0 0.031 times the t prime that is two hours if you solve for this equation you will get a dose of 994 milligrams again we're going to round it up to 1000 milligrams so that's a maintenance dose if you Give this 1000 milligrams maintenance dose you will have a css max of 30 mg per liter and css min of 15 mg per liter okay so i'm going to stop this here